Tonight, we're learning likely Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney will be in our state next week. He'll be here as part of a six-state bus tour called Every Town Counts. The tour begins Friday in New Hampshire. Right now, we don't know which town Romney will visit. Mitt Romney's visit comes as new polls show our state is a toss-up. Our 16 delegates could go to either President Obama or Romney. 24-hour news eight political reporter Rick Alvin is here now to break down the changing landscape of this big race. Yeah, and you know, he's starting in New Hampshire, another mm -hmm. toss-up state. Just watch. That's where this race is going to be fought. Last week, Epic MRA poll that showed former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney leading by one point in Michigan was well within the margin of error and signaled a virtual tie here after being trending for Obama for a number of months. Now, with that poll factored into the real clear politics average, Michigan has turned gray. In other words, too close to call. That means two of the three key upper Midwest states are toss-ups, Michigan and Ohio. Pennsylvania is now leaning towards President Obama, but that still leaves more than a dozen states up for grabs. Florida, the richest in terms of electoral votes, followed by Ohio and Michigan. But factor in all of those other gray states that you see on the map, and you start to see exactly where the campaigns will be focusing, places like New Hampshire and elsewhere. Based on their average of polls, Real Clear Politics estimates 221 electoral votes would likely go to the president, 170 for Mr. Romney. That leaves 147 more, more than enough for either candidate to win the race for the White House, depending on how those states that are too close to call actually vote. So expect to see them uh, shading uh, on these states to change perhaps more than once between now and November. We don't know what all the factors will be in this election. Both sides, we do know, will be voting, uh, fighting for every last vote. So you can expect to see a lot of the candidates, their commercials and their sur surrogates here in Michigan. We have the third highest total of electoral votes of all of the states currently up for grabs. That means we're a battleground state, thus this upcoming visit that you just mentioned a few minutes ago, and expect both of those candidates and a whole bunch of other folks on their behalf to be in and out of mm -hmm. Michigan oh, yeah. right through November. Well, they've got a lot of pushing to do. We've got all of those electoral votes just up in the air right now. I mean, yeah, they've got a lot. That is a big work. group of undecided, and mm -hmm. they're scattered all over the map. You've got Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, New Hampshire, Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, yeah. Ohio, uh, Nevada, and uh, perhaps Colorado, New Mexico. Some of these come and go. So, I mean, they've got to be all over the country because mm -hmm. they've got to focus on those states. Exactly. It's a lot. Thanks, Rick. Rick, thank you.